Well, the intention there was to get that cue ball screwed behind the blue, but very difficult with the position of the cueing there. So that could prove to be extremely costly. Five. Just about enough angle on the brown to get behind the blue. Nine. But he's terribly close to the blue now. But as long as he knocks the blue in, it may not be too bad. Nine, Stephen Hendry. Well, Jack, both players have had chances to win this frame. Jimmy's had a couple. Stephen's had a reasonable chance. Still early in the match, but uh, there looks to be a bit of tension between the two players out there. chance but a difficult one but having said that Jimmy White's very good off the cushion there's a lot on this shot oh and that's good <laughs> my word that does say a lot holding himself together there Five. so 14 points ahead now 13 remaining Slight feeling of comfort. And the pink Five. safe. Jimmy White. That's a good shot from Stephen. Doesn't want to push the black on the cushion though. A little unlucky. But Stephen just wanting the one snow curl be. Wanting to make sure that he gets the pink safe every shot. Until uh, Jimmy perhaps gives him, gives him an opening to get that one snooker.
allowing Jim has left the pink close to the black, which gives Stephen a possible chance here if he can keep control of the cue ball. And that was a dangerous shot Jimmy played. However, he may have been fortunate. Not too difficult. Jimmy White. Well, Stephen has a look at the pink, decides it's not worth it. So the frame goes to Jimmy White and he leads 3 2. Well, the opening five frames, somebody has to be one in front at this stage, and both players yeah, sparring for openings. It's early days yet, there's a long way to go. But it's a pity, Ray, that in the middle of that frame that uh, we had to have that long inter interruption for the, for the missed shot. Uh, there's a lot of discussion about it, but forgetting all that, it did break the concentration of the frame. Well, you could say that, Jack. I mean, the point is I was rather surprised Stephen had them replaced. He had a, a very easy safety shot from where he was left. But, uh, I mean, in John Street's opinion, the red was very easy to hit, that Jimmy uh, hit the blue and he had to call the miss. I don't think it particularly affected the frame. And I think yeah, Stephen that, now is just saying to John like at times like fair, that, fair. what does one do? But uh, I suppose he feels that he was entitled to a bit of advantage. He played a good... I've got a good safety shot, whether he played it or not, and uh, he made the decision. At the end, I don't think it really affected the outcome of the frame because both players had good chances afterwards to win it. Yes, I'd agree with that uh, entirely. The only th thing I feel about it is, and it's quite a personal opinion, is that, of course, it, under these circumstances where both players are grappling and trying their best to get an advantage in the game, uh, if it happens at a crucial moment, I mean, when we recall uh, Steve Davis and uh, Dennis Taylor, happening in a situation like that, it would be really a Thanks crisis. I mean, there would break. be a, one Steve heck of a hoo-ha about it. However, be that as it may,